John Johnsman, and this is the Cremor News, sponsored by Cremor Springs Premium Lager. Today, panic surges through Cremor as the start update for the new Turbo 1000 windmills is stated as tomorrow. P some people think the windmills will be fine. Others think it will be devastating. We now go to a interview with two Spanish girls who share their opinions on the windmills. Pues es lo que te está diciendo que es bueno, sabes, en plan que haya tantos, ¿no crees? Sí, yo pienso que sí, en de que os repase un poco repugnante. <laughs> Welcome back. Again, I am John Johnson, and now we go to an interview with a local man who shares his thoughts on the windmills. This time in English. I don't know. We're being the first place in the world to try the Turbo 1000. You know, this isn't Shelburne. Do you have any more thoughts? I have other thoughts. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Again, I'm John Johnsman, and this is the Creamore News, sponsored by Creamore Springs Premium Lager. We'll see you next time. Bye. I'm John Johnsman in this Cremor News Flash. Today, when the windmills turned on, they caused hurricane speed winds because they spin at such a high RPM. They're basically turned in to giant fans blowing people around. Check out these viewer submitted clips that just show how fast and how deadly and how devastating these windmills are. John Johnsman with a short haircut and in this edition of the Creamore News we will be talking about the newborn terror windmills. Today three buildings are found missing around Creamore. They include or they are indeed the following three most famous buildings in Creamore. The Sovereign, the Brewery, and the Cremor Meat Market. Now, with those buildings gone, the windmills have begun an increasingly large problem. But heavy security around the windmills won't let anybody in their shop. Sir, the Turbo 1000s in Cremor are gonna explode. They're going too fast. What do we do? The only thing we can do is run! Hello, I'm John Johnsman, and this is the Creamore News. We're in the aftermath of the windmills now, and it isn't looking so good. After the windmills spun too fast and blew up, many people were injured, and there was even one death an ant. A red ant named Bob, to be exact. As we try to rebuild Cremor, including the three missing buildings that were found 50 miles away inside it, on a field. Helicopters are working desperately to bring them back to their rightful place. We don't know what's going to happen in the next project that the company has in store. The super garbage incinerator thing. They haven't really renounced a name for it yet but if it catches on fire Cremor is going to be in serious danger until next time I'm John Johnson and that was the windmill crisis sir the turbo 1000s in Cremor are spinning too